What's the worst thing your parents caught you doing as a kid? When we were about 6 years old me and a friend were having a contest seeing who could pee the furthest out the third story window. Some nosy lady from across the street ratted us out to his parents. I still think I won but we didn't get a chance to check who peed the furthest. I wrote bitch on my notebook in first grade with one of those giant training pencils. Forgot the tea of course. Peeing into the air vents on the floor. My mom got 5 year old me one of those giant novelty suckers that came with a pretty sturdy wooden handle. I decided to test the strength of the stick by pushing it against my bedroom wall as hard as possible. Such a strong stick. Dad walked in just as I poked a 6 inch hole in the drywall. My little sister had fallen asleep with her sucker the day before and got the whole thing stuck in her hair. No more giant suckers. Mopping painting the garage floor with oil and destroying a waterbed with steak knives. My brother and I were both under the age of 5 when these things happened. He's older than me by about a year and a half and made other horrendous messes before I could start participating in them including opening all the Kool-Aid packets onto the kitchen floor and emptying an entire can of Crisco onto the bottom few steps in the house. He was bad. Our younger brother is 6 years younger than me and was way worse in the mess department. He threw all my bottles of nail polish all over my room and destroyed most of my stuff so I wasn't allowed to have any more. He cut up most of our pictures from when we were kids. Remember when you could refill your own ink cartridges at home with a kit? He sprayed a whole pack of that stuff all over the living room including the ceiling. Ruined the carpet completely. When my sister was 3 she was caught hiding behind a trash can eating butter after we specifically told her not to. When I was about 6. I was watching an episode of Pokemon. I had to pee but didn't want to miss anything. So I peed in a trash can. I though that was super clever at the time but as soon as my mom got home she could smell it and 21 years later she still remembers. Not me but they caught my 3 year old sister eating chips in a small dark closet at 3am. Did I mention she was also naked? We've all been there. My best friend's mom caught us spanking each other's bare asses. That was fun. Edit. At age 5 I used my dad shaver on my lips without shaving cream. I bought a VHS video camera. Saved up money for so long to buy it from a dirty wee second hand shop. I came home one day to find my mum had been. And still was recording episodes of daytime TV shti. Over my hours and hours, and hours, of masturbatory action. No words spoken. Ever. Parents would always catch my little sister sucking on velcro straps on shoes. In the closet. Told my mom I was going into the woods to build a fort. I went into the woods but brought my Game Boy which I was grounded from and a supply of batteries. Played Pokemon out there for several hours next to a tree until my mom came out into the woods and found me. Big trouble for me. Sending dirty emails to a stranger I met on Omegle. I was like 12. Pretending to be 16, I thought that was mature. I only got grounded for like 2 weeks. Not my parents but my sister's friends. My mom was making me take a bath when I was fully nude I ran for the door and left to the backyard and my sister's friends and my sister saw me and I waved at them. When I was 4 my parents were trying to potty train me and they made me go around the house naked from the waist down so I had to use the toilet. I shti on the floor. It did under the couch when my parents walked in and blamed it on the cats. Semicolon. We didn't even have cats. Trying to see if my penis was long enough that I could suck it. Not me. But my best friend growing up. We found some PRNO mags in a field behind his house that he took home. When he would take a shower. He would cut out images of the girls. Stick them to the inside of the shower and do the deed. And flush the pick. Eventually he had a PRNO mag consisting of all men. With the women all cut out. Needless to say. His dad found them and thought he was gay for a few years before talking with him about it. One time my mother walked in on my girlfriend and I having a sex. To tell me that my father cut his finger off. 
and that they were going to hospital. There was a lot to unpack in that moment. I can't remember how old I was. But I was playing with an arrow, no tip on it, and I had the bright idea to walk up behind my dad while he was working on the mower and crack him in the back of his head with it. Mixing toothpaste with water while I was bathing. Less of a kid. More of a teen. But my dad walked in my room right after me and my GF got done doing the deed. I was standing. Facing the door. Cleaning myself up. His only word was wiener. While covering his eyes and shutting the door. I'm female. When I was 4 my mom caught me trying to sit backwards on the toilet. When I was 37. She walked in my room and found me passed out mid masturbation with PRN playing. She turned off the PRN. Thanks mom. I have a seriously distinct memory of this. Despite being so young. So bear with me. I'd say I was around maybe 3-4 years old. Someone left a turd in the toilet and I remember thinking it looked distinctly pickle shaped. So in my young child mind I thought hey. A pickle. And went to grab it out of the toilet. I realized it wasn't a pickle when it squished between my fingers and my mom saw the excrement on my hands. I used to sleep on the toilet when I was 6 cause my mom forced me out of bed in the morning. Found weird PRN of lookalikes of my favi YouTubers at the time and emailed them to my best friend for laughs. My email was signed into the iPad my parents were using. I took my dad's sports car, Jaguar XKR, on a joyride. When I got back to the house my dad was waiting in the front yard with boxing gloves. That's when you slow down. Make eye contact and gun it past your house. Go big or go home. My mom found me making death traps in the woods with a knife my dad gave me after I left his house. So I was around 14 yo. I had just discovered PRN on the internet and was home alone. Thing is. The only computer we had in the house was in the living room. And the living room was right in your face as soon as you would enter the house from the main entrance. So I was doing my stuff when I heard the key plays in the lock outside the door. I did not have time to put my pants all the way back up. My whole family entered the room to see me stare at nothing else than the window home screen. In complete panic I stood up and my pants almost fell off. I grabbed them right in time for my mom to ask me WTF are you doing? In panic I just brushed it off and said these pants are way too big I think I need new belts. A few days later I was shopping with my mom for new belts. I kept telling myself they bought my story. But now that I'm older. When I was 16. My mom told me to stop searching PRN on her computer. I said okay and apologized. Then my dad. Who overheard. Came in after her and said thank you. I don't know why but as a kid I would put my hand in my pants because it felt warm in there. Not for any other reason. Comma it happen unintentionally sometimes. One morning I woke up to my parents looking at me concerned. I was confused until I looked down. As you can guess my hand was in my pants. And I immediately took them out. My parents were crying laughing but I was so embarrassed. That night my mom gave me the talk. My dad came down while I was watching Baba Station when I was a kid. In my panic I changed the channel but it landed on a gay version as he walked in. When I was probably 4 years old. One time. I pooped in the bushes. But went inside to get toilet paper afterward. But thought that I should wipe where I pooped. So I went outside to wipe. Leaving the toilet paper with the poop. I'm 41 and my family still brings it up. When I was a teen I would push my parents car out of the driveway and go have fun. I always killed it and coasted back in. Did this for quite a while. One night I was at a party and let my friend drive it back. We got pulled over and they impounded the car. My dad had no car to go to work in the morning. It did not go over well. One morning my dad caught me sitting on the kitchen counter drinking Hershey's syrup straight out of the can. I used to pee in anything but the toilet. My mom caught me trying to pee into sinks. Closets. 
trash cans, toys, air conditioning vents, a ficus, and my personal favorite off a second story indoor balcony. I was also caught searching butthole and asshole on the family computer when I was 6 but jokes on you mom I searched all the bad words. Those are just the ones you found. Not so much caught but occurred in plain sight. I sleep walked into a living room cocktail party and peed into a bowl of chips in front of a dozen adults. I heard the funniest story from my friend's mom. Apparently she always loved to get to her mom's purse and empty the content and play with whatever was in there. Her interest was mostly her mom's lipstick and makeup. Like every other little girl. Once when they had just come back from a family trip. She opens the purse and finds a condom. She has no idea what it is. She opens it and thinks it's a balloon and starts blowing it. Mom comes to the room. Condom in her mouth trying to blow it and she turns around and asks her mom why is the balloon so oily lol. It was obviously lubricated. Her mom snatches the condom off her hands and gets super angry. Gives her a timeout and forbids her from ever touching her purse again. She said it was not until she was in her 20s that she remembered the memory and realized what the balloon was lol. I was recording myself dancing. Naked. And showing my ass being open to the camera. I was probably 5 when this happened. I was wandering around my house looking for fun when I saw my dad shaving his beard with a razor. I had a crazy idea. When my dad was done with shaving I grabbed it off the counter and ran outside to my pet dog. I started shaving my dog. And when I was halfway through my mom spotted me through the kitchen window. TLDR. I was bored so I grabbed my dad's razor and shaved my dog. And got caught. Edit. Yes. Did grow back but. It took 14 full weeks to fully recover. I was probably like 5 years old and I was playing outside in the backyard by myself and things must have gotten crazy because I started kissing on the basketball hoop, the pole, and all of a sudden I hear my mom from the window go I can see you. Well I'm sturbating. Unfortunately more than once. I had a glass door when I lived with my parents. Why the heck do you give a teenage boy a freaking glass door? That sounds like they wanted to invade your privacy. Drinking my little brother's pee from the potty. I was 4. He was 2. I tried to kill my younger sibling. It was maybe an accident but they were convinced that I didn't like him. He is okay and my best friend to this day. Edit. I don't really remember if I had tried or it was an accident. I thought at first maybe it was an accident then when I really think about it. I stuck a Danish pastry into the VHS player and melted Lego blocks into the air holes for our furnace. My mother and my father probably wish they never had me at the time. I am a guy. When I was 4. I was caught undressing my sister's Barbie by my mom. In my defense. I don't like the white dress it was wearing so tried to change it to red spare dress it had. Which I liked better. My mom's argument. What are you doing mid play time? Away from your toys and looking at your sister's Barbie making it naked? I did not win that argument as I blamed the dog mid argument lol. I was caught getting a blowjob from my girlfriend, not ashamed it was great. I didn't realize my mom got home she screamed then ran. One time my dad was being an ass, yelling at my at the time 4 year old sister for absolutely no reason, so I pissed in his beer. That was a fun talk. He totally deserved it though. Stealing money. It wasn't much but my friends convinced me that nobody would notice because it was such a small amount. So my idiot 9 year self agreed. My mom found out and it was the only time. In my over 20 years of life. That my mom actually scolded me. And by that I mean she was really angry and most of all disappointed. I don't lie to my parents. That was the only time I tried to hide. In the hindsight I would probably have told them out of guilt in a few days. Oh wait. I forgot to tell you why my friends convinced me to take some money. It was because it was one of the girls. Who was the eldest. 14. I think. Birthday and she wanted us to buy her a cake. My mom caught me lighting my neighbor's house on fire. 
Edit. So more people have wanted more detail on what happened so here it is so in our neighbor's yard. There is a tree that was right next to the house that also had low hanging branches. We were trying to light a campfire under those branches and the fire started to go too high. My mother got the fire out before any serious damage was done but still. Also. My most liked comment is about a crime I almost committed. I'm reading how people did so much stupid shit. My brothers and I used to suck each other's dicks. We were very young at the time and had no concept of SX. We still showered bathed together at that time and as kids do wondered. What does pee taste like? Which ended up with a penis in someone's mouth for science. I guess it felt good and we did this a couple times until our parents caught us. I remember being very irate at the injustice of the punishment because no one had told us it was wrong. In retrospect I can't blame them for freaking out. Our playroom was upstairs. And my sister and I were playing house. I had to go to the bathroom and didn't want to go downstairs. So I pooped and peed in our play dish pan. Then I dumped it out of my brother's bedroom window. Which was right above the downstairs bathroom. My mother was in the bathroom cleaning and saw the pee and tea storm drop. She told dad. I was about 6. I was 13 talking with adult women online about some BDSM stuff. Tried to buy PRN with my dad's card. I was a horn dog. My dad would always barge in when I was playing 3D PRN games on my computer in my room. Come to think of it he probably saw my search history. This is a depressing story. So when I was a kid, I was around 7. I was really depressed, I'm not sure if I actually had depression or not, so what I did was I wrote on a bookmark even god hates me my stepdad found it and I got in trouble. Instead of being a loving dad and comforting me about my feelings. I got my ass whooped for being sad. This was one of the things that affected my life. Some context first. I didn't know what prostitution was at the time but I did know of the SX world due to finding out at a very early age anyways. I was playing GTA San Andreas and as most of you know there's a feature that allows you to pick up hookers for a fun time, looking back on it. It really hasn't aged well and just looks funny, so little 10 year old me just so happened to pick up a hooker in the game and I was busting a kid chub but I didn't do anything I was just admiring the sound effects that the prostitute was making and then my mother walks in and says stop doing that. Make it stop or turn it off. Scared the crap out of me and I quickly made CJ stop, in game character. She didn't talk to me about it or explain why it was bad she just walked in and saw what was happening and told me to stop. About the only time I got caught. TL. DR. Watched CJ from GTA San Andreas get frisky with a hoeing game. Mum walked in. Saw and told me to stop. I'm an only child and spent a lot of time alone. So I played a lot of weird games by myself. I was obsessed with the show so weird. I wanted to be fee so much. I would do things like paint my foot blue and walk around the house making blue footprints so that I could investigate them later. One night. I decided to write go to hell on the TV and dry erase marker. I guess like a demon was trying to write me a message? Anyway. I had my little scene all set up. And then when I touched the TV. The writing didn't come off. I did everything I could to get it off. But it wouldn't budge. I had to show my grandpa what I'd done and I haven't recovered 20 plus years later. So I didn't exactly get caught. But I had to turn myself in. 